To deploy a computer using Smart Imager, you need to boot into the WinPE file. This is the pre-boot operating system, and from there, it will load the image, applications, drivers, configuration settings, and any other item that you've decided to add into your image. To load the WinPE or pre-boot operating system, you can do this two ways. You can either enable Pixie in your environment, which allows you to boot any client PC using the network interface card, and it will reach out over the network to the Smart Imager server and download all the files it's needed, or you can use a USB stick. Now, when you installed Smart Imager, it configured Windows deployment services for you. So, in order to enable Pixie in your environment, all you need to do is add the Smart Imager server's IP address to your DHCP scope, and you can start imaging over the network. Now, if you don't know how to enable Pixie on your network, you may need to use a search engine and look up your DHCP server and how to enable Pixie. Or if you have a network engineer, better yet, you might want to ask them how to do it. It's a fairly simple task. If you want to use a USB key in order to boot to your client PC so you can image them, Smart Imager comes with its own utility that'll make these USB keys for you. Let me go and show you how this is done. If we look at our Smart Imager server, if we go to console and bootstrap settings, which is right here, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner there is something called a media creator. If we click the media creator and down here click run, choose yes on user account control, it will bring up our media creator for us. Our media creator allows us to create a USB key from any Smart Imager server in our environment. So I'll go ahead and type in the IP address of my Smart Imager server. And click go. And it immediately will bring me back all of the sources or deployment paths that are in that server. So I can actually grab the files from any one of my deployment paths, I don't have to necessarily grab it from the server itself. Also, it'll show me where my USB key is, and there's a drop down here that'll list all your removable media. Make sure that you choose your USB key that you want to add WinPE to. Keep in mind that you do have the option to format this drive as well in which it will erase all the data. So make sure that you use a clean USB key or something that you don't mind erasing the data on. Additionally, it'll allow you to choose different deployments and those deployments are directly related to your deployments on your deployment menu. Now from here, I can choose to only include the WinPE, which is the, just that pre-boot operating system and it'll only include that file, and then it'll load the WinPE, it'll go out to the Smart Imager server or the deployment and grab the, the uh, files it needs in order to image the PC. I can also choose, again, to erase all data or to remove all data if I'm making this USB key for an additional time. Let's say I've changed something in the bootstrap settings and I wanna make a new USB key, I can do that as well. If I uncheck only include WinPE. I can choose any of the deployments I want. Additionally, I can choose if I want to use FAT32, if I'm using UEFI, or if I'm going to force master boot record or force that file system on that USB key to use NTFS. Lastly, I can choose whether or not I want to use the x86 or 32-bit architecture or force a 64-bit architecture version of WinPE onto that key. Once I've completed all those, I can go ahead and click create and it'll ask me, are you sure you want to do this? Because again, it's going to clean off that drive. I'll choose yes and it'll go through and create that USB key for me. Well, that's about it as far as using the USB key in order to deploy images using Smart Imager. If you have any questions at all, please contact us at support at smartimager.com or if you just want to write us and have a simple question, you can always contact us at contact us at smartimager.com.